Right, people, welcome back to the channel. Today, I think it's going to be a big step. I think we're going to have this thing rolling. Sorry, I've got a sweet one, mate. Some of these sherbet lemons, lemon sherbet, even. I she's got on me. Proper blast from the past. Probably shouldn't have put it in my mouth before trying the video, though. But, no, you know, I suffer with severe anxiety, so I have to keep my mind busy. I have to be sucking on something or doing something just helps keep the demons away. Right, anyway. We've got suspension now, look. Well, I think I remember in the last video, I just TIG welded these on the bottom of here. So we've got this in place. We made these last time. Which feeds to the top of the shock. Shocks are weighing down at the minute. I'm through. This is my A-arm section. See? Which goes down onto this crossbar. With some serious weld around it. All right. Then we've got this support here, which goes to the top, because you're gonna help stop any deflection, but this is holding it down anyway. But that's just to help, help hold back any deflection we've got there. Yeah? And this is the up and over. The job with this is to support the bonnet. But we have welded it pretty solid. And it's got gussets here, just to give a bit more shape. Inside the end is spaced out, so it can't squash. And that there is pretty solid. It's not welded in yet. I'm leaving it up to the other owner, the new owner, the owner. It's up to me if he wants to weld it in, because normally this runs more forward. I set it back a bit more so the engine can literally come past it without having to remove it. And it's such a tight tolerance, it's therefore part of the structure of the car, which in my eyes is better. Right, so that's where we are. Yeah? So now, what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen put some wheels on it and you're going to see it with wheels on for the first time right then are we ready are we steady here she is on the wheels look we're getting somewhere the taxi rolling under its own rolling loading thing here <coughs> go quick water out shall we now it's on the wheels. So we're actually getting to near completion on this chassis now. So we've got loads of clearance under the chassis, look. Yeah. Drive shafts are at a nice angle. And this is probably still gonna come a little bit higher yet, this one. Because this is, as I say, it's more of a road come track toy shocks working well they're keeping in the nice angle all these are done brace is done and on racks in there back suspension everything's got clearance before this touches this that will basically on the floor the way it works with the pivot but you're never going to use that much clearance so yeah, there she is, on her wheels. Now what I'm gonna do, is put the front end on, because my friend brought the front end up for me from Custom Minis. Well, my Les, he's the one who does all my body work, because his stuff's top notch. So that's there, we've got a couple of pieces of wood. Because our height. This is a proper Maguire. Uh, 
from there. Too far your way. So, centralise on the wheels. <coughs> yeah. It's about right, that is, isn't it? What do you think, boys and girls? We've got a race car here yet? So as you can see, it's flat, which is where it's meant to be. And our support bar, look, fits beautifully. Yeah? It's a pucker job. So, there we go, boys and girls. So what's left to do on this now? I've got to put the little ones in here. Uh, the X in the back, the chap wants box section, more in keeping with the Maguire. Uh, roof bar's got to be welded in still. And then it's a case of stripping it back down, fully welding. So we're nearly done. This one can nearly go to its new home. That's about, that's about it then really, the car's done. Fully weld time. Yeah, I love you. I love welding. Right, let's get this thing done, shall we? Right, so what we're going to do now is blow it all apart. So, front end off, wheels off, suspension off, engine out, the big strip down. Right, let's crack on. Morning people, so now we're back again. Now that last little bit, about four seconds long or something, that was actually a lot longer, but for some reason my phone stopped recording. Four seconds in. There's probably two hours, two and a half hours worth of work there. Gone. Right, so now we're gonna get back to the chassis. Now the chassis is 99.9% .9 finished. So I'm gonna show you what I've done. You've seen me start to weld and then it cut off, but we did the full weld and we fitted the last few little bits that the chap wanted. So let's go. So there we go. Chassis is pretty much ready to go. Roof bars in as well now. Uh, these little things. He's got the windscreen braces. So the roof bar, the windscreen braces, this last brace that's going on here which I didn't want to fit until I'd seen the vehicle complete. Because I was unsure whether I wanted to put it down here to follow on the zig or to put it over there. Well, that is a bigger distance. Yeah, bigger distance than in there. So it's under less load here than it would be there. Let me just try and explain a little bit. Forget <coughs> this bit of bar. If we are there, yeah, see the angle difference, yeah? It's a lot easier for a piece of tube to do that when it's over a longer distance. 
the more the angle, the harder it is to push up because it's also pushing out, if you understand what I mean. So the arc of that, instead of just going up and down, which that's easier to move up and down, it's actually got to move out because it's got a, it's got its length, hasn't it? So you've got to try and push out as well as up. And with all the rest of this, it can't move out because this one's holding it where it is. Do you understand what I mean? I mean, it's got this one as well coming down at an incline. So you, you've got to try and squash that. It's not going to happen. But there, it's, it's a lot easier. As you know, it's a lot easier to move something up and down like that than it is like that because you... To move that up and down, you've got to compress it. But to move that up and down, you've just got to flex it. So anyway, that's why I wanted to wait to get that bar in so I could see what exactly was going on. We put the X in the back that the chap wanted because the Maguire runs an X in box section in the back. So that's in for him. Uh, everything's fully welded now. All of it's fully welded. Subframe's been off and on and off and on and it fits really quite well really tough with it uh, it's got all the proper hardware in it now it's got the um you'll see better from this side oh that is where oh i can't really see um, just get me that out for you see that is where my bottom mount fits yeah i always put an arp bolt on because they are over a wider base so, yeah, we're pretty much done. To be honest, everything's fully welded. Spoke to the chap. He's over the moon with outlooks. And he's over the moon with what he's getting. And to be honest, it's helped me out doing this kind of chassis. Because I now know what is in toll. In toll? What it takes. And there's a lot more work that goes into this kind of chassis than my chassis. So right, the only thing I've got to do now is remember these rear radius arms, brackets. You remember how I fitted the top cusset on the outer one, but I left the inner one until I'd got everything in place? Well, now it's time to put them in. So that's just what I'm doing now. I've just got a 90 degree angle bracket, clamped down to the table, clamped up to the bracket so everything's square. I mean, it was square anyway, it's just holding it straight for me now. So I've got them to do. Um, what else? And then we're on to steering rack brackets. I'll go to them. They're going to be in a separate little video. Got my glasses. So right then, I'm going to crack on with these. We'll get some welding done on these. And then, you know, it's, it's pretty much there. He's doing all the rest of the work. He wants to do it himself. So I'm supplying him with the CDS for the harness bar, uh, the steering column mount. I've left that off. That's not something I do, I can do, but you need to get your seat in. Then you need to look at where your pedal box is gonna go, which is also something he's gonna do. And then you put your steering column on. There's no point in me putting a steering column brackets, or steering column brackets, pedal box mounts, if I don't know where your seat's gonna be. So I don't know how tall you are, I don't know how wide you are, I don't know what kind of seat you're having. So you have to put your seat in first, so you've got your plenty of leg room, so you're comfortable. And then where your legs finish is where your pedal box goes. And then once you're sitting there with your pedal box, you hold your steering wheel, that's where your steering wheel goes. So it all works off your seat. So there's no point in me doing that when I don't know who you are. Do you know what I mean? As long as you can prove to me that you can weld, and this chap's a mechanic, owns his own shop, some of the stuff he's done is really good. So, I've got trust in it, you know what I mean? Right then, I'm going to get these welded, and we'll crack on, shall we? There we go. That's all it needs. 
piece and then I, I fill the bottom corner in. Easy. It's going nowhere, so we're going to get no flex now. Right, right then, pull down. Break all this stuff down. It's like all you do, get stuff out, put stuff away, get stuff out, put stuff away. I do need a bigger welding trolley, if anybody knows of one, because I can only get my one welding box on the back now. So I have to keep taking my TIG, my argon off, my TIG. That really good your head in Right? Ready? Come on, Jesus crumbs. Right, so that, pretty much that little job there. It's the last job of the chassis. Well, now we're just going to do those brackets. Well, there'll be in a different little video after this one. Right. Well. What do we do now? Uh, we'll do them. And then we're going to work on something else. Well, I've got a lot of these chassis to make. I've got like five people wanting these chassis now. Well, the next one is going to be my style chassis, which is going to include, I might make some updates to my chassis, because I like some of the little bits on this. It's like I lowered that, that bar down two inches, because the Maguire is more open at the back. And I'm quite liking that, because mine sits a little bit higher, so it's a bit smaller at the top. But I'm quite liking how open that is, so I might try and Put that into my chassis. I'll show you. We'll see. All right, so my next one will be a single seater, my chassis, full subframe. Yeah, and a lot of it is the same, but a lot of it's different. It's like it's got a completely different front end. Door bars are different. The back section was different. The floor is different. Um, so yeah, it's got. Bits and bobs, but what I've got to order now is I've got to order my 45 mil die for my bender. Because what I was doing is I was ordering these cages. The main hoop, I was getting the main hoop, this section, and the roof bar off a friend of ours at a, a race company, basically. But apparently something's happened there, and these aren't coming anymore. So I'm going to start making my own, which means I can make the alterations I want, because there's little bits I want different to what I'm using now. So yeah, anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching this. I'm nearly at a thousand subscribers now, which I didn't expect. I'm just here showing people the little bits of information that people want to build these, if you know what I mean. Just that little bit of help. Right, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll get on to the next one and we'll do a little bit of machining, shall we? Thanks for watching. See ya.